Now it's time to create your paper mache paste. Pour in your flour and water. Mix it up with your hands to get all those little clumps out. Then, rip and dip a strip of newspaper into the mixture. Lightly slide your finger down the strip to get rid of any extra paste. Slimy. Then, apply the strip to your volcano. Repeat this process as many times as necessary, working your way around the base. Once you've covered the whole structure, feel free to go back and add extra strips. The more layers you have, the easier it'll be to decorate. Phew. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. Ah! Let's take a break and let this dry overnight. In the morning, you can have a grown-up help you cut off excess cardboard with your cutting tool. Now that it's all dry, what do you say we add some color? Grab your paintbrush and some white paint to give yourself a nice clean slate to work on. You may need several coats to cover it completely. Once the white paint is dry, it's time to get creative. Use the rest of your paint to decorate your volcano. You can make it like the movie or do your own thing. 